With the latest casino opening in Danville, Virginia, right across the state line, North Carolina leaders have drafted a bill that could lead to more casinos in the Tar Heel state. We're a lot closer than we've ever been before. Um, uh, there are still some fairly significant hurdles. The bill itself is not public, but we learned some new details Thursday. Republican House Speaker Tim Moore says it would include four entertainment districts where casinos would be allowed. These sites would also have shopping, dining, and hotels, and be located in some of the poorest parts of the state to try to help the local economy. This would be in addition to the three existing casinos on tribal land. So that horse is kind of out of the barn and it would be a way where the state could collect additional revenue and so it looks like that may be taking shape. A recent study commissioned by the conservative group Greater Carolina looked at the impact of casinos in three counties, Anson, Rockingham and Nash. Moore would not say what locations are in the bill but said those three are part of the discussion. He also said the bill should include legalizing video lottery games statewide. When Virginia recently approved casinos, it was up to voters in those communities to decide if they wanted one. It's not clear yet how it would work in North Carolina, but Republican Senate leader Phil Berger says there should be local input. This is happening as the legislature is close to legalizing mobile sports betting, too. Democratic Senator Lisa Grafstein voted against that Thursday. I have um, concerns about the ability to pull people into behaviors that are that uh, are being driven by, like I said, technology that we don't really understand and have, have any kind of control over.